What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lux. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe. Today we're going to be hunting for the best Pokemon card sets you can find at stores right now. Cosmic Eclipse and Evolving Skies. And so I've been going back to these stores for about a week now trying to find these sets. At Target and uh, Walmart, I'm hearing you can find these Orbital V-Boxes and Rapidash V-Boxes that contain both Evolving Skies and Cosmic Eclipse. If we can't find any of those, um, there are still some other options to buy, like Pokeballs and other tins that contain Evolving Skies. So starting off here at Walmart, I went to the front to check out the card section and they had a bunch of pretty cool tins. I found these E22 Pokeballs. I uh, found two of them, picked both of those up, and then I also found a J21 Pokeball. I'm not too sure what's in those ones, so let me know in the comments. And they also had a pretty big selection of tins here, so I'm gonna pick one of these up. I went to the back to check out the toys, and they had this luxury ball toy, which is kind of cool, and then they also had uh, Togepi Squishmallows, which was like the first time I've ever seen those. Up next, I walked over to Best Buy because it was right next door, checked out the toy section, and they had this pretty cool blue spiny shell plush and then up at the front they had a few pokemon cards not too much it's like super hot so i think we're going to be checking out two more stores there's a gamestop nearby and there's a target nearby usually target is a store that i go to and get most of my pokemon cards so we'll save that one for last up next we'll go check out gamestop but yeah it was really cool to see that togepi plushy um that was the first time i've ever seen any of those squishmallows in stores so pretty cool to see that also if you haven't already don't forget to hit a like on this video um click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell because i still don't really have a schedule for uploading videos or streams so i actually made the wrong turn um i'm going to be stopping by target first and then we'll go to gamestop on the way on our way back i'm just gonna pull the e-brake i'm just kidding we're not drifting so over here at Target, weather is like 100 degrees Fahrenheit, so pretty hot. Over here at the card section, they had a bunch of reprints. They had some Silver Tempest, Fusion Strike, I think some uh, Vivid Voltage too. I did not find any of the Rapidash or Orbital boxes. I went to the back to check the collectibles section. They had a bunch of pretty cool pops and modeling kits there. Uh, found some Mountain Dew Baja Blast, shout out to OTP. Then I checked the toy section out in the back to see if they had any cards here. They had a bunch of Pokemon toys, and they also had a Pikachu Squishmallow, which was pretty cool. All right, so we found some pretty cool stuff over at Target. Um, we saw that Pikachu Squishmallow, but I didn't really want to commit to buying that one. I did find some Cyclozar EX boxes, so I was able to price match with GameStop and get one for twelve sixty. It's like five thousand degrees outside. I'm sweating like a fire hydrant, and yeah, we're on our way to GameStop right now. Hopefully, they have some good deals for us there. A little bit of traffic here going to the GameStop. We're about like, I don't even know, like a block away from the GameStop, but there's just so much traffic going on. There's an in and out close by, and so I think that's where the most of the traffic is coming from. Um, at the same time, it is a weekend and it is really hot, so I feel like everyone's kind of stressed driving and just out trying to enjoy their weekend here. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll head over there, see what they have, and then uh, open these packs up. Over here at GameStop, I stopped by the toy section first to see what they had. I found these pretty nice Duskull plushies, which were up at the top, and then they had a really good assortment of GameStop exclusive Funkos. Had this Sora Pop, this giant All Might Funko, which was nice, and these GameStop exclusive Star Wars Funkos. I thought this Darth Vader was the coolest one. They also had this Nintendo Switch pop-up stand with a bunch of Mario trading cards, this Loki um, helmet thing, and then here was the trading card section, had a bunch of Paldea Evolved, Lord of the Rings, Magic the Gathering, booster packs, uh, Paldea Evolved, ETBs. I ended up just getting a Cyclozar EX box from GameStop. They did have a, have a lot of really good um, selections and I saw that they had more of those Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering cards um, but they were selling them at like 45 bucks per booster pack and so I wasn't really feeling like gambling and testing my luck with any of those serialized rings um, I may end up just buying my own serialized ring in the future um, I think 
one of the rings that I'm eyeing right now is the Elven Soul Rings. I really like those ones. Um, but yeah, we finished hitting all the big box stores that sell Pokemon cards. Let's head back to open these things up. We're back home. Let's start off with these EX Cyclozar boxes. Alright, so starting off with the Scarlet Violet. Looking for that Terrastralized Gyarados card. Alright, here we go. We got a Wiglet, um, Toad Scroll, Sand Isle, Toad Scroll, Mouse Hold, Vitality Band. That's pretty cool. Metacham, Ponyard in Reverse, and a Hollow Houndstone. There's the first code card right there. Let's go next, Scarlet Violet. Come on, Terrastralized Gyarados. And so, yeah, I literally just got back. My back is like super sweaty right now, but happy to be opening up these Pokemon cards. So Toddle in Reverse, Reverse Espathra, and a Holographic Rev of Rune. And there's the next code card. I saw some sneak peeks to the next uh, set of City in Flames. And I think the Rev of Room card looks pretty cool. Here we go with Silver Tempest, Fennekin, Feebas. We got the Wind Chimes, Little Bird, Clink, and then, oh, it looks like we might have something back here. Three, two, one, and a Mawile V Star. Nice. And here's the next code card right there. Wapa! Lost Origin right here. And so now, hoping for that Alt Art Giratina. Such a, such a nice card. We get. A little ball of snot. We got Snover hiding in the dark. Jinx, Calamari, Horsey, and a non hollow Rhyperior as the rare. Let's get into this next Cyclozar EX box. <laughs> All right, here we go. Scarlet Violet again. Terrestrialized Gyarados, where are you at? We got a white code card in this one. Starting off with the Jalapeno. We got a Potion, Weasel, Energy Retrieval. Hey, we got Blissey. Let's go, Blissey. Set that one off to the side. We got my boy Jack. Good to see him. Florigato, Reverse Hollow Torkoal, Reverse Hollow Floet, and a Holographic Keychain. Next Scarlet Violet Booster Pack. What are we gonna get here? We got a black code card this time, Rare Candy. Now we can level up. We got some, we got some Raw Dough. Dedene, we got a Pinecone, Grocador, Muck. Uh, Florgus, Reverse Holo Shroomish, Reverse Holo Revivroom, and hey, we got an Oinkalone EX. Nice, so that's our second hit. Wapa! Moving over to Silver Tempest. Imagine we pull the Alt Art Lugia, that'd be insane. We got the uh, Sparrow, we got a Seed, Smeargle, Esper, Dratini, Reverse Holo Glalie, and. Uh, oh, nice! We got a Regi Drago V Star. I thought it was gonna be just a regular rare. Here we go. Wapa! Final pack from the Cyclozar EX boxes. Lost Origin. Oh, glue is kind of sticky on that one. We got a Lit Wick. Some flowers. We got Perito. Seal. Uh, we got a little Ghost. Silcoon. Politoed. And Politoed was the rare. Oops, lost track, lost vacuum. All right, next up, let's get into these E22, E22 Pokeballs now. So we'll start off with the Premier Ball. I looked it up. These should have one Evolving Skies, one Brilliant Stars, and one Fusion Strike Booster Pack. Pretty difficult opening up the plastic part. Opening it up, we see there is in fact a Brilliant Stars, an Evolving Skies, and a Fusion Strike Booster Pack. Let's open up this next Pokeball. We have the Ultra Ball this time. And the plastic on these are like really stuck on there. I don't know, I find it really difficult to get these things off. All right, there we go. Sweet. Let's open this thing up. And it looks like we have the same assortment. We have an EV coin in this one. And I just saw we also got an EV coin from the other one. So let's start off with Fusion Strike. Looking for, what are we looking for? Let's try to find that, that Altart Celebi. Altart Celebi will be what we're looking for. We got a bird, got a snowman, sizzlepeed, stuffed toy, sandy gas, reverse hollow starmie, and Altart Celebi. Oh, okay, we got a Greninja V. 
which is kind of cool, but it's not this Altart Celebi that we were looking for. Wabba! Next Fusion Strike Booster Pack. All right, we get Snom, Onyx, Jigglypuff, Durant, Panseer, Reverse Holo Steelix, and Altart Celebi. Nope, regular Holo Golem, regular non-Holo Golem, sorry. And now we'll move over to Brilliant Stars here. Looking for, honestly, that Alt Art Arceus card. I pulled it once, but I traded it away. Hoping I could find another one here. Get Shinx, Bidoof, Reverse Holo Dusclops, and a Holographic Moltres. That's a really cool artwork. Too bad it's not the Alt Art Arceus though. Our next Brilliant Stars booster pack right here. All right, so we get Bidoof, Electabuzz, Halucha, a Weasel, Baby Shark, Baby Shark in reverse, and a non hollow Lipard. Kind of reminds me of Catwoman, the way that it's like standing on top of the building there. All right, next we got Evolving Skies. All right, looking for the Rayquaza VMAX alternate art. Lotad, Ted Yursa, oops, a Snowflake, Reverse Holo Spirit Mask, and a holographic Galarian Zapdos in that one. There's the code card. Next, Evolving Skies booster pack. All right, here we go. Oh, Fletchling, Chinchow, Petalil, Dinosaur, Little Bear, Little Bear in reverse, and <gasps> a non hollow Lilligant. So, nothing in that pack. Next, we got. This Empoleon V Powers tin. So, this Empoleon V Powers tin should also have two booster packs of Evolving Skies, two booster packs of Lost Origin, and one booster pack of Fusion Strike. So, let's see if that holds true here. Open this thing up. Off the bat, I already see there's a Brilliant Stars um, pack. So, it's gonna be a little different than what I had earlier. Two Brilliant Stars here. <gasps> Two evolving, three evolving skies. Are you okay? So I need to go back and grab more of these tins because because three evolving skies. Like, look at this pack selection. That's crazy. So we'll start off with this brilliant stars booster pack. Looking for that alt art Arceus V card. We got a milk milk drop. We got a sick bear. The Dene. Whoa. A bunch of cards are falling down. We get Farfetch'd, Duskull, Reverse Hollow Magmar, and a Holographic Torterra. Okay, and then here's the code card for that one. Here's our next Brilliant Stars booster pack. Opening this thing up, we get a Grimer on the front. Grimer, Sneasel, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Windchime. We got the Kindler. Getting the heat ready for us in Evolving Skies and Alt Art Arceus. Ah, oh, nope. Regular, regular rare Breloom, and there's the next code card. Onto our last three packs of Evolving Skies. Hopefully, we can get something good. I think the best pull we've gotten so far is a Reggie Drago uh, V Star, which is kind of underwhelming, but the journey continues. We got a Reverse Hollow Thievul and Alt Art Rayquaza. Nope. Regular rare pincer. And here's the code card for that one. Next Evolving Skies booster pack. Here we go. We get a Chin Chow. Then a dinosaur. Pumpkin. Carvana na na na. We get Gossip Fleur. Reverse Hollow Herdier. And <gasps> oh, a regular rare Ampharos. And there's the next code card right there. And our final booster pack, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already too. Okay, Carvana na na na, Gossip Fleur, Fletchling, Scraggy, Hippopotas, Reverse Hollow Flapple, and, <gasps> oh no, <laughs> a regular rare Gigalith. All right, and there's the last code card right there. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. 
drop a like and leave a comment down below. If you're interested in seeing more, click one of these videos right here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.